All right, guys, welcome to your 14th video, or at least I think it's the 14th video. Who freaking cares what number it is? The important part is in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create that text file and also how to load it into our program because it's a little tricky loading it in. So the first thing that we actually need to do is create a text file. So go to my website, thenewboston.org. It won't work with any other website. Go ahead and, you know, watch some of my videos, you know, maybe follow me on Twitter. And once you're done with that, go ahead and hop over to my About section. And there's a bunch of useless, boring text on here. Please don't read it. It's incredibly boring. What we are interested in doing is selecting a couple paragraphs, just steal all this content from my website. And now, once we have a bunch of content copied, go ahead and open Notepad++ and paste it in. Now, I actually forgot what was the name of that text file. So in cpp crap about bucky dot text what a freaking beautiful name so now if i go ahead and save this as and might as well just save it on your desktop it's probably the easiest location crap about bucky dot text save check it out easy enough we now have a very simple text file stored on our desktop they say desktop like a freaking boston kachaja but anyways we now can verify that because we have a little text document on our desktop looking pretty good so now that we have that, what we need to do is, of course, load it into our project so we can do something useful with it. So open up Q again, and in order to load files into your project so that you can use them, go ahead and select File, New File. Oh, I got freaking phlegm in my throat. New File or Project, Q, Q Resource File, and choose this. Now it says, uh, just get a name of it. And guys, this doesn't need to be the name of your file. That's not what it's asking for. Just go ahead and type find crap, or you can actually type anything you want in there. Hit next, and the rest of everything should be set up by default, the correct path, and what project do we want to add it to. Make sure you're adding it to the project that you want to add it to, of course. And select finish, and it says, oh, because I added it before in my freaking, hold on a second, let me do this yes to all the reason that it's saying that it shouldn't say uh, to you is because I actually added this before and I recorded this tutorial and then I found out that my microphone was on mute so now I have to do it again so that's why it's saying that I have to overwrite it but you guys shouldn't have to overwrite it so basically what you need to do first is you need to change the prefix so if you go ahead and select this file or it should take you here by default in the prefix section right here click add add prefixes and hit the forward slash just like that so that's going to be our prefix so now what we need to do is we need to actually add the file so go ahead and hit add add files and it was on the desktop and where was it crap about bucky and again this says um we pretty much want to copy it to our resource folder because that's where we need it to work on it so just hit copy right there and it says choose copy location this should be set up by default hit save we're good to go now if you click on this your resource files you now see that crap about bucky dot text is now successfully loaded into our program so now that I think everything's loaded let me see if there's anything else I need to do Hmm. you know what I think that's it right there so now if we go ahead and build and run our program come on baby come on alright it looks like it's working so far now let me go ahead and um what's a common word to to all right go ahead and search for this and hit go and hopefully oh yeah check it out and I, I know this uh, even for me just looking at it right now it's really difficult for me to see so I'd imagine on YouTube it's gonna be extremely difficult but the two right here is actually uh, highlighted now if you go ahead and hit go again it should highlight the next two which is right here hit it again this one again um, right here and you can keep cycling through it until it gets to the end and once it gets to the end your programs can complete you can go ahead X out of it clap your hands there's the first kind of useful program that we created so again I keep saying again a lot when it's like the first time I'm saying something, but there you have it, how to create a very simple program, GUI program in Q. So in the next couple tutorials, I think what I'm going to do is eventually get into more advanced programs, and I like to teach, um, instead of just giving you guys the basics, boring knowledge, I want to teach example by example, 
you maybe teach graphics, animation, maybe get into a game eventually, but I'm not, you know, guaranteeing anything. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that little demonstration. And if you have any questions about anything or you want the source code, go ahead and ask me on my forum, tnbforum.com, and I'll be happy to answer for you there. Oh, and one more thing before I let you guys go. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Google+, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.